Hey guys and welcome to another short quick tip in our digital classroom series made possible by BenQ and Rogue. Now, do you sometimes experience your Google Chromecast to disappear? You Google Chromecast audio that doesn't work or you Google home speaker that, well, it works, but you can't stream anything to it because you don't see that icon in YouTube or TuneIn Radio or Spotify, whatever you want to stream. That icon is just gone. Well, that was the problem we also experienced a lot. Now, at first, I actually didn't blame the Google products themselves. I just very simply blamed our infrastructure because we well, we recently switched from Apple to Google products, in my case an Android phone, from Samsung by the way, not Google, but you know what I mean, right, Android, we switched back to Windows and our infrastructure for Wi-Fi was still airports. So I actually blamed it a little bit on the airports and when you looked online, a lot of people experienced those problems and the solution was always turn your Wi-Fi on, turn your Wi-Fi off and it works, the other way around by the way. And sometimes they even say, okay, reset your router. And the funny thing was, when we did something like that, it actually worked. But it wasn't the way that I wanted to work. I want something like this, home automation. I want it to work constantly and reliable. So when I open up the Google Home app, I want to see all my devices. And I don't want to just guess like, oh, now I see two, now I see three. Oh, where's the other one? Just re doesn't work like that. So at first, we blamed our Wi-Fi system for the very simple reason, airports, Google Apple, eh, maybe they're in an argument, you know, you never know. But when one of our Apple airports died, we actually decided, you know what, we want a mesh network in our home and we already got that by using three airports. Let's go for the Google system because, well, Chromecasts, I really got addicted to them. So I want that Google Wi-Fi system and that should solve all my problems. So what is a mesh network? A mesh network actually means that you can walk around your house or building and that you have Wi-Fi in all locations without losing Wi-Fi. Now, in the old days, you had to switch Wi-Fi networks, for example, living room, bedroom, attic, or whatever. And later on, they got into something that's called mesh networking. So those Wi-Fi stations, they connect with each other. And you can just walk around your house and you don't have to change anything. So that's called a mesh network. Now, the Google system is a mesh network. You get three of those little pods. You just install them in locations in your house and they connect with each other. And now you can walk around and just have your network. Now, because everything was Google, we expected our Google Chromecasts to work flawlessly. And much to our horror, they didn't. Again, looking on the internet and a lot of people experience those problems. Again, reset your router, turn your Wi-Fi off and on, and it works. No, I want it to work all the time. Now, in the end, the solution is incredibly simple, and I'm going to go to there in a moment. But first, I want to explain to you how a network works. And don't worry, I'm not going to dive deep into it. I'm going to do it very, very simple. Imagine a building where a lot of people live. So, for example, you have apartment A, B, C, and D. And you have one door to the outside world. That's door one. Now, a network works actually similar. So you have one door to the outside, that's called your router. Now in most cases that has a number 254 or 1 in your network. A network runs from 1 to 254. Now all the computers you use in your house, including your phone, your tablet, they also have an address. Now that can be that today my phone has address 31, tomorrow it has address 34 or 40 or 50. So it switches between those addresses. Now, why does that happen? Very simple. You don't want to set everything up. You just want to pick up your phone, connect to your Wi-Fi, and everything has to be automatically. That's called DACP, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. Hey, I'm Dutch. So the DACP is actually controlled by your router, the door to the outside, and it just randomly gives out addresses to your devices. So you don't have to think about anything. But that could mean that today my phone is on address 31, tomorrow address 34. Now, in all honesty, that shouldn't be a problem for a system like a Chromecast because, well, the Chromecast is in your network and it just connects and it beams over the whole network. The problem, however, is slightly different and I don't want to go into too much technical information, but it has to do with your router. Now, this is actually what gave me the clue because it didn't work. I started looking at what address does my phone have, what address does my tablet have when it works. 
and every time it works I saw our outside router so in our case 254 every time it didn't work I saw one of the routers given by our Google Wi-Fi network and this works for all your devices if you do this and you open up your Google Home Assistant you will see that immediately all your Google Home devices like a Chromecast, Chromecast Audio, all the speakers they connect instantly also when you go to Netflix and YouTube you instantly see that little icon stream or cast so how do you solve it well let's pick up my phone and I'm gonna show you in very very simple steps okay the first thing you have to do is actually go into your settings now you go to your connections Wi-Fi Bluetooth and you go to your Wi-Fi now by the way this is on an Android on an iPhone it's slightly different but it, in the end it all runs exactly the same Okay, now you see that I'm connected to Smart Home, which is actually my network. You also see that my router here, the doorway to the outside, is actually 192.168.2254. That's how IP addresses work. You have four locations, in my case 192.168.2, and then you have the address. So the first three, they dictate where you live, let's say which building you live in, and the last one is actually the address within that building, and that 254 is the door outside. So that's the easiest way to explain it to you guys. I can't change it when I just click on it because now I only see my information, so don't do that. What you have to do is just click and hold. And now you go to manage network settings. And now you can see that I can actually give it a fixed IP address. In my case, 192.168.231. So that's the address my phone is on. Now the most important thing is that you put in your gateway. In my case, the gateway to the outside is 254, and that's the address of your router. Now, if you don't know the address of your router, it's actually quite simple to find out. Just let your system run very simply via DSCP, and just look what kind of router it finds. If it's in the 192168, and after that, whatever, you're pretty sure that that's your route. Let me put it this way. If your casting works, you just look at what your router is, and that's probably the router you should put in here. Now, DNS, I always use 888. Uh, that's one of the Google DNSs, and somehow it just always works. So, now as soon as you save this, that's the whole solution. Now, every time you start up your Google Assistant, so let's go to Google Home, you immediately will see that all my devices are there. So we have a garden speaker, we have the bed cave speaker, we have our home theater and we have a bedroom speaker. And it just instantly is there. And th this never worked. As soon as I use DSAP, even if I was on the same router, it was very laggy. Sometimes it will show home theater, sometimes it didn't. And by using this very simple trick, just assigning a fixed IP address and router to your phone, it solves all the problems. And as you can see, it's incredibly simple to do. So if you have any other tips or other solutions, just leave comments below. If you like what we do, please subscribe to our channel. And of course, tell other people about it. But most of all, smash that like button because we really like that. Tomorrow, the workshop, smoke and props. So tomorrow, a new vlog episode in Behind the Closed Doors. See you again tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>